the last of the digestive disorder is indigestion. Now after the food is taken inside, proper digestion has not occurred and you are seeing fullness of stomach, then you call it as indigestion. Now symptoms includes fullness. You can see fullness of abdomen. You can see dyspepsia. You can see bloating, nausea, vomiting, belching, or flatulence. Fullness. When when food is taken, you feel the abdomen is full, the stomach is full. Even after several hours after taking in food, you, you are feeling the, that that is the. You can see bloating. You can see slight swelling of abdomen. Well, food is not digested yet, has accumulated, so there is swelling. That swelling is called bloating. You can see pain or discomfort on the left upper abdomen. So that's where you, you will find stomach, left upper abdomen to the subject. So you can see pain or discomfort, it is called dyspepsia. There is, of course, there is nausea, there is vomiting. You can feel, see once food is there for a very long time, so there, there is no digestion is occurring, it has to be pushed out yeah, in one way or the other. And there is some cases, belching, so release of gases through mouth or flatulence, flatus, release of gases through anus. So all this. In digestion, it, it results in abdominal pain. It also causes heartburn. Heartburn is because of, because of gastro esophageal reflex disease or because of certain medicines like nitrostat like non-steroid anti-inflammatory drugs like aspirin ibuprofen when I say indigestion indigestion might cause pain in or discomfort in the upper abdomen, it might also cause heartburn, a burning sensation behind the breast bone or sternum. So that's because the contents present in the gut, in the stomach goes backwards. That's because the lower esophageal sphincter is undergoing relaxation. So this, this it remains open. See, whenever food is coming, so this opens. After food has come into stomach, this is closed. Lower esophageal sphincter is closed. So this will prevent regurgitation. It will prevent the food from going back. But some cases, this undergoes relaxation. So food, I mean the food mixed with acid, it will come back into the esophagus. It will cause so that burning sensation. Gastroesophageal reflex disease. A small reflex is seen in all people. But in some people, because of continuous relaxation of that sphincter, more of food is going to the top. And certain medicines like nitroglycerin, nitroglycerin or nitrostat, which uh, we take beneath the tongue, we put it beneath the tongue to cure that um, heart ailments. Um, people with angina, severe chest pain, heart problems, they place a small tablet beneath the tongue. So certain, then uh, th that is nitrostat. Then certain medicines are taken, they cause relaxation of lower esophageal sphincter under that conditions. Or when drugs, non-steroid anti-inflammatory drugs like aspirin, ibuprofen, when you take, they cause relaxation of that sphincter. Actually, we take that to dilate the blood vessels, but they have got side effect, the relaxation of lower esophageal sphincter. The anxiety, stress, obesity, helicobacter pylori, gut, 
Kansas. Gatalsis. Anxiety and stress. Somehow this is related. When we take food, there is a lot of anxiety. We are not able to digest the food. Uh, at the time of examination, before examination, you can see people vomiting. It's because a lot of anxiety, there is no digestion. Stress and anxiety. And obesity. Now, when a person is obese because of extra abdominal pressure, because of that extra abdominal pressure, so you can see in digestion and certain cases. And when that bacteria, Helicobacter pylori, it's a bacteria which is present inside the gut. It causes ulcers, gut ulcers. So when there are ulcers because of the bacteria, there is indigestion. And because of cancers in certain areas of gut when there are cancers. So you can see conditions where indigestion occurs. But normal indigestion, if you take food, the food is not digested, you can see swelling of abdomen, you can see indigestion, you can see pain in the abdomen. So you take excess of food, you take spicy food. So generally the food is not digested, it is called as indigestion. 